All right, so by now you probably know that I'm really not a big soccer fan. Never really have gotten super into the sport. I mean, I follow it from time to time, mostly the American soccer leagues. Um, but of course, Oakland and San Jose both have teams respectively that I cover. Uh, of course, the MLS, San Jose Earthquakes that have been around for a number of years. And Oakland, the newer team, uh, USL, which is, you know, obviously a step below the MLS with the Oakland Roots, um, a team that was established in 2018 and just recently as of uh, last season joined the USL. So, you know, I'm not a really a big fan, but I will say the Oakland Roots, there's something about them that they've been able to do in just this short period of time of four years to really grow their brand. And they did this with marketing. And I think sort of the reason why I think this is relevant to talk about is because the A's are in the midst of a really a revolution by the fans, um, a boycott that, you know, fans just aren't interested in the team right now, rightfully so, um, with low attendance. And of course, you know, these two teams are the final teams in Oakland, they, the A's and the Roots. I mean, the Roots are not professional, but they are still a sports team. So, it, you know, it's definitely relevant. But I find that the Roots, you know, although they play in a very small community college stadium and they are very, you know, obscure compared to the A's, they do a very good job of marketing while the A's don't. And I think the A's could seriously learn a couple of things from the Roots. So, you know, I just a little bit of history. I mean, when the Roots were established in 2018, I didn't really know about them right away until they joined the NISA. National Independent Soccer Association. That was about a year after they uh, were founded. Um, and at first, and, and I'll be completely honest, I was just a little bit resentful of the Roots because I thought, you know, we're losing the Raiders, we're losing the Warriors, and this is, you know, at the same time of us losing these two beloved teams. And I thought, you know, we're losing these two major league teams that have so much history in Oakland, and then we're, we're, we're given a minor league soccer team. It's sort of a slap in the face. And I still... I, I, I still am consistent with that belief, but I have a little bit changed because I feel like the Roots obtained a fan base in Oakland that, you know, never had had a pro soccer team really of this caliber um, before. And they did so, you know, first of all, I just want to say their branding is absolutely incredible. The fact that they're called the Oakland Roots, you know, enables people to that aren't even sports fans to buy their merchandise, people that just like representing Oakland on a, a brand or whatever. I mean, I bought this hat um, late last year and, you know, I didn't buy it because I was necessarily an Oakland Roots, you know, diehard supporter, but I bought it because I could wear this with A stuff and it, the logo is great. I mean, the tree and whatnot. And funny thing, I mean, the Roots, you know, kind of came out with that logo, of course, the tree with the rainbow um, kind of mosaic pattern on the Roots. But this year, of course, they've tweaked their uniforms <laughs> coincidentally. So their home uniforms are silver and black like the Raiders and their away colors are green and gold like the A's. I mean, they are giving the people what they want. And I, I respect that. I mean, I definitely do. Another thing that the Oakland Roots do that, you know, I, I think is really cool is, you know, they, you can get Oakland Roots merchandise almost, you know, in Oakland, um, you, you know where to find it. That's what I'm trying to say. Like it's at the, they're, they're licensed with the Oaklandish brand. And so for those of you that don't know, Oaklandish is like a streetwear brand in Oakland, but they make like sports merchandise. When the Raiders and Warriors were here, they would make stuff, exclusive merchandise. Um, and so the Roots like partner with them. And so their merchandise is sold through Oaklandish and it, it, it's good quality. I mean, I bought this hat from there. And so I think the Roots marketing has really gotten their fame. I don't think if the Roots, you know, if the Roots didn't have a, you know, an incredible logo and, you know, a sort of inviting fan base um, culture, I, I don't think they'd be that popular. I mean, they play in a stadium of 5,500 people. I went to one game and it was pretty, it was, I think it might've been close to a sellout. Um, not saying much, right? Cause it's very small, but still for a minor league soccer team that just entered the USL, you know, when I was there, it was, they were in their first year there in that league, it's pretty good. And I mean, last year they had a really good season of starting out horribly and then making a incredibly deep, deep playoff run all the way to like the semifinals round lost in penalties. I mean, it's definitely a, you know, a, a thing that has a lot of potential. I think the next step for the roots, I mean, I'm all for them being popular in Oakland. I wasn't at first and I still, like I said, I'm still a little bit, um, you know, heartbroken that we've lost, uh, you know, the, the two professional teams. And I think I sort of took that out on the roots, but I, I think their next steps would be trying to get a stadium, 
try to get a you know a smaller stadium um maybe if howard terminal gets done they can sort of you know utilize the coliseum land and you know do something with that i think the oakland roots are on pace to be a very successful team in the long run um but sort of connecting back to the a's i think the a's could really learn something um from the roots i mean the a's are intentionally alienating the fan base and the roots are doing the opposite i mean the roots play you know practice at the raiders old facility and totally rebranded that themselves and they they just know how to get an audience the a's you know it's ironic because the roots are four years old and are a minor league soccer team a sport that is not really popular in america while the a's are a professional mlb team that has been in oakland for close to 55 years and been in major league baseball for over you know over 100 years at this point and yet they are failing the a's are just not doing well and the roots are doing well you know i guess you know it's, it's a different sample size but i think if you're looking at a microscopic view of it the roots are very you know doing successful so that's a little bit of a story i mean I'm, i assume a lot of people don't know much about the roots just because they're kind of obscure and they're kind of just an oakland thing but who knows they could make headlines you know in a couple years as a you know making bigger moves because they have a high ceiling so anyways guys let me know your thoughts i'll see you guys later and yeah peace out